JAMA Network. Three million people in the United States are infected with the hepatitis C virus. Untreated, it can lead to chronic liver disease, cirrhosis, and liver failure. Chronic hepatitis C infection is the leading reason why we have liver transplantation in the United States. Dr. Anthony Fauci, director of the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases and co-authors, conducted a two-phase randomized clinical trial. Participants included an inner-city population, predominantly African-American, and those who did not respond well to classical interferon-based therapies. Researchers first tested 10 patients with early-stage liver disease. They were given the drug sovospuvir. Sovospuvir is a agent that acts directly against uh, the hepatitis C virus itself. It interferes with one of the enzymes that's important for this virus to replicate itself. These patients also received a high dose of ribavirin, another drug used in combination with other treatment regimens for 24 weeks. Nine of 10 patients experienced remission with undetectable amounts of hepatitis levels in the blood. An additional 50 patients were then divided into two groups. One received the sovospuvir and a weight-based or higher dose of ribavirin. The other group received sovospuvir and a lower dose of ribavirin for another 24 weeks. The higher cure rate was seen in the combination of sovospuvir together with the weight-based or higher-dose ribavirin. The study appears in JAMA, Journal of the American Medical Association. A high level of cure rate can be achieved in a population with poor prognostic features with direct acting agents against hepatitis C that don't rely on an interferon-based regimen. Interferon-based therapies can cause a considerable degree of toxicity. The idea of getting these people diagnosed, and if appropriate and if they need it, to get them into a treatment regimen is a very important public health imperative. Catherine Dolph, The JAMA Report.